Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos to everyone. What a delight to welcome you into the Gordon Chapel. I know that the heat of summer is here. It's bearing down on us. So it's such a familiar sight to see all of us wearing coats in the Gordon Chapel because it's a cool center for all of us to cool off, to rest, to remember that the challenges of the week we can set aside now as Shabbat begins. Our beautiful songs and music and prayers that we'll share are all the reasons we have to give thanks for the blessings we can see in our life and also the ways we can find them when they're difficult or hidden to know. And so tonight, as we appreciate the blessings we've come to celebrate, let's join Rabbi Scott as she leads us in an opening song, first a nigun, a song without words, followed by lachun arana All of those words can be found on page 12. streaming with us tonight. We say Shabbat Shalom to you as well. And now a song which has brought us all together from all the places that we've been leads us to the Sabbath blessing. Tonight it's a privilege to invite Phyllis Cohen to lead us on page two and three as we bring the Sabbath lights into our hearts and our homes. As these Shabbat candles give light, to all who behold them. So may, me, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may, me, so may we, in our day, be among those who kindle light. Oh, right, I have to light them. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kedishanu Bemitzvotav Betzivanu Lehad Ligner Lehad Ligner Shel who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat.
And now we turn in our prayer book to page 28 as we rise for our call to worship Baruch Hu. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars, creator of the tide of time and light. You guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch atah Adonai. Amariv Aravin. We turn the page and continue together. As you taught Torah to those whose names I bear, teach me Torah too. Its mystery beckons, yet I struggle with its truth. You meant Torah for me. Did you mean the struggle for me too? Don't let me struggle alone. Help me to understand, to be wise, to listen, to know. Lead me into the mystery. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Please be seated. Page 36. <laughs> Hayom halva vecha veshinan tam leva necha vidi bar tam baham Ukshar tam leot aliadecha, veha yule tota fod, vene necha, uchtav tam, 
Hamazuzot betecha, uvisha recha, lemma hantis keru, varsitem et kol mitzvotai, vitem kedoshim, lelo hechem, hani, hadonai, lelo hechem, hasher hot seiti adchem, Meeretz meets Rahim, Lehiot Lachem, Lelohim, Hani, Adonai Elohechem. Page 37, together. Love your God with every heartbeat, with every breath, with every conscious act. Keep in mind the words I command you today. Teach them to your children. Talk about them at work. Whether you are tired or you are rested, let them guide the work of your hands. Keep them in the forefront of your vision. Do not leave them at the doorway of your house or outside your gate. They are reminders to do all of my mitzvot so that you can be holy for God. I am Adonai, your God. I led you out of Egypt to become your God. I am Adonai, your God. Page 39, responsibly. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world still far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, Time and again, we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us, Let us continue, continue to work, work for, for the, the day, day when the nations, the nations will be one and at, and at peace. peace. Then, then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukkat shalom aleinu, ve'al kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. Hello, hey, no, the 
together. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. We continue on page 46 and 48 as we rise now for tefillah. Adonai sefatai tiptach ufiagi tehilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai. Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu ve'imoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor v'hanora. El el yon, gomel chasadim tovim, vekonei hakol, vezocher chaste avot ve'imahot, ume vigula lifne v'nehem, leman shemo ve'ahava, melech ozer moshia umagein, Baruch atah Adonai, Magin Avraham, Be'ezrat Sarah. Page 51, responsively. We pray that we might know before whom we stand, the power whose gift is life, who quickens those who've forgotten how to live. We pray Amen. for the winds to disperse the choking air of sadness for cleansing rains to make parched hopes flower, and to give all of us the strength to rise up toward the sun. We pray for love to encompass us for no other reason save that we are human, for love through which we may all blossom into persons who have gained power over our own lives. We pray to stand upright, we fallen, to be healed, we sufferers. We pray to break the bonds that keep us from the world of beauty, we pray for opened eyes, we who are blind to our own authentic selves. 
We pray that we may walk in the garden of a purposeful life, our own powers in touch with the power of the world. Praise be the God whose gift is life, whose cleansing rains let parched men and women flower toward the sun. Baruch atah Adonai, mechaye hakol, atah kadosh v'shimcha kadosh, kadoshim b'chol yom yihalaluch asela, Baruch atah Adonai, ha'el hakadosh. You are holy, your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Please be seated. Page 55 at the top. Together, may these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day May all who suffer find solace. May all who are hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch HaTadonai, Megadesh HaShabbat. Page 59. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words. For the awareness of soul, our light within. For the world around us, so filled with beauty. For the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us. For all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch atah Adonai, atov shimcha lecha na'eh lehodot. Page 60. Our prayer for peace sits in front of us. It's a prayer for peace that we often pause to reflect on. A world filled with so much complexity and brokenness deserves more time than just to read the words and sing the song, but truly to pray in our heart and soul that perhaps something might change in the days to come. Not only because we prayed for it to happen, but perhaps because we've done something about it. We have our words and our prayers. We also have our hands and our feet to do what we've been called upon as Jews by the prophets and those who have come before us to make a difference. So tonight, we have no choice but to read and to sing, but then we have the power to choose what to do. Page 60, together in English. Grant abundant peace to Israel, your people forever, for you are the sovereign God of all peace. May it be pleasing to you to bless your people Israel in every season and moment with your peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, who blesses your people, Israel, with peace.
we take a moment now for silent prayer. beautiful music, which lifts up our words and our prayers, helps us to feel what this Shabbat is meant to be. It's healing, it's renewing, and we add our hope and prayer to those who are still recovering and looking for their physical renewal, emotional and spiritual too. They are recovering in the hospital or at home, or perhaps even among us. Especially this night, we're thinking of Karen Rocklin, Carol Friedman, Sidney Simon, Kenny Goldstein, Ronnie Golden, Stephen Gus, Shelley Jacobson, Joel Levine, Sandra Serlin. For them and for all who are dear to us in our families and circles of friends, we share now a Misha Barach, a prayer for their health and well-being. The words are found on page 253. Please join us. Help us find 
And this Shabbat is also a special moment to honor couples who are celebrating a quinquennial wedding anniversary, a multiple of five years. And traditionally, June is a very special month for weddings, so you can just imagine. We sent an invitation to all the couples, and some responded that they would be here personally. As I call out the names of those who have responded, please come forward and take your place on the bima or remain at your place if you wish. And we'll share, even with those who are live streaming, names of all the couples who are celebrating this month so we can honor you at home too. Celebrating five years of marriage this month, Ashley and Jay Katz, come on forward. Celebrating 10 years, Norell and Brian Becker, Amalia and Todd Davis, Amy and AJ Adiris, Amy and Justin Kider. Good, please come forward. Here you are. Celebrating 15 years, Allison and Freddie Feldman, Charlotte Ann and Louis Strauss. Celebrating 20 years, Amy Lynn and Stephen Lind, Amy and Clay Siegel, Lee Moore and Stuart Smith. Celebrating 25 years, Dale and Jeffrey Andrews. 30 years, Lisa and Randy Gladstein, Karen and Thomas Wolf. 35 years, Le Leslie and Charles Moser. 45 years, Faye and Michael Copeland, Doreen and Aria Leibovitz, Lori and Alan Selzer. <laughs> Celebrating 50 years, Nancy and Arthur Berman, Nancy and Jimmy Gordon, Helene and Robert Schwartz. Beautiful, come and join us. Celebrating 55 years, Billy and Marvin Chazen, Betty and Bernard Nelson, Brenda and Mansell Rubenstein, Rena and Barry Zucker. Beautiful, come forward. Front and center for 55 years. Good. Celebrating 65 years, Sue and Jerry Deitzer, Toby and Mort Joachim. You can stand right where you are. And <laughs> if you're keeping score, a cumulative number, 890 years of marriage. So we don't have a plaque big enough for 890 years, but before we continue, Helene and Robert, where did you go? Mazel tov to you. These plaques say for you, Rena and Barry, Brenda and Mansell, Toby and Mort, that Congregational Beth Israel honors you, each of you on your very special anniversaries, 50, 55, 65 years of marriage. God bless you. And you are part of our <laughs> blessing tonight too. <laughs> we are so pleased that we could be together and those who are live streaming too, you should be sitting close together with a little champagne together. Mekor Chaim Vahava, source of all life and love. These loving couples have come to you in your presence on this bima to seek your blessing as they continue to make their way in life and in love. And as I look back on many years or few, they discover that the joys that they've come to know are even sweeter because they have been together to share them and to feel gratitude for the blessings they've come to know. And in times of challenge along the way, because that is life too, you've discovered in each other's presence the very partner you need to know that the challenge can be overcome. In Yiddish, we say, if you can't go over the problem, you go around. And then you find your way on the life's path that you were intended to traverse together to know joy, gratitude, peace, and blessings again. 
And so we're grateful that you can be partners, friends, to make a marriage work in a world filled with brokenness and complexity, and to demonstrate to those who are touched by your life and your love that it's worth every day to look in the eyes and the heart of your partner and to know that you are there. And so it's a joy first to invite everyone to share with us our prayer of gratitude as we say, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, she'achianu v'kiyamanu v'higiyanu l'azman hazeh. Blessed are you, eternal our God, ruling spirit of the universe, who has kept us in life and sustained us and brought us all together to share this joy. And my pleasure to extend to you the blessing of old. Now, I was at one of your weddings to extend this blessing, but I wasn't at yours, Toby <laughs> and Mort. Yivarecha charanai v'yishmarecha. May God bless you and protect you. Ya'er adonai panavelecha v'yichunecha. May God's countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yisa adonai panavelecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May God grant you all that you wish for yourselves, for your families and friends with you. May it be long life, mitzvah, much love, and the greatest wish that we could possibly ask God to bestow upon you is many more years together in peace. Amen. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. The history of our reform movement is rich, varied, and somewhat complicated. It's deserving of our attention as we are the proud recipients of a movement that came to fruition gradually beginning in the 19th century in Germany. The movement wasn't started by a group of traditional Jews who were looking for an excuse to stop many of the stringent laws. Rather, it was a response to the Haskalah or enlightenment. By the end of the 18th century, many members of the Jewish community wanted to put an end to their isolation. Observing mitzvot, specifically those related to dietary laws and Shabbat observance, made it difficult for many European Jews to feel a part of mainstream society. This idea planted the seeds for what would become the reform movement. It was gradual and intentional. The first steps were to uncover meaningful Jewish practices. In a way, it was an opportunity to meet the community where it was. Because they felt connected to their German values, could that continue? Was there a way to be both a part of modern society and still feel Jewish? For the early ideologues, the answer was unequivocally yes. Some of those earliest changes remain with us today. The opportunity for families to sit together in a worship service is still an important value, and that was a reform invention. There was no need to separate seating based on gender. Also, we prefer a combination of prayers both in Hebrew and in English, another intentional change. Just like our predecessors, Praying in the vernacular continues to bring everyone together. Without the traditional barriers of the past, the reform movement has continued to flourish and grow. These were valuable innovations, but there was also an important topic that was brewing in the background. Could women function as rabbis? The topic was noticeably absent in the first official platform of the reform movement in 1885. We could assume then that this was an issue that wasn't addressed at all. 
But that isn't true. Just a few short years later, in 1889, a journalist and community activist by the name of Mary Cohen asked the question on the front page of Philadelphia's Jewish newspaper, could not our women be ministers? This question sparked an intense debate that lasted for nearly a century. The idea of women serving as a spiritual leader was quite a departure from traditional practice. And while many of the other reforms were more readily accepted, the issue was quite complicated. Scholar and historian Dr. Pamela Nadell includes this fascinating history in her book, Women Who Would Be Rabbis. It provides a comprehensive and engaging look at the many women who were functioning as rabbis long before they were granted smicha, or ordination. In the late 19th century, there were many females who led communities while their male counterparts were often serving in the military. Women found their traditional roles growing and expanding rapidly. By 1920, this topic became front and center. With the ratification of the 19th Amendment granting women the right to vote, it was time for modern Jewish societies to act in accordance with the law of the land. This has always been an important value of the reform movement since its inception. Martha Newmark was among a small group who raised the issue of female ordination at this time. Relying on text and tradition, she spearheaded a comprehensive review of Jewish law. Yet Newmark and others realized that time after time, they fell short with the necessary proof texts to confer ordination. Despite the challenges, this small but vocal group of women continued to serve their communities, and their efforts remain an important part of the path to female rabbinic leadership. This month marks a landmark celebration. Nearly 50 years ago today, the first woman was ordained by Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion. Rabbi Sally Presand, a well-respected spiritual leader, teacher, and organizer in her own right, made history on June 3, 1972. And while she cherishes her trademark of being the first female rabbi of America, her journey was far from straight and narrow. Growing up in Cleveland, Ohio, Presan desired to become a rabbi at the young age of 16. She credits her parents, who encouraged her to dare to dream big about her goals for her professional life. Rabbi Presan hand wrote a letter to the Reform Seminary sharing her desire to become a rabbi. She received a response but it was to encourage her to pursue the path of becoming a Jewish educator instead. Rabbi Presand was persistent and didn't let up easily. She stood her ground and found her way. Like many professional journeys, she encountered those who supported her efforts and those who were dismissive. Through it all, she prevailed. And this work continued. After serving a few congregations in her first nine years of the rabbinate, Rabbi Presand wasn't always met with open arms. We're familiar with synagogue politics, and she faced many challenges with colleagues and lay leaders alike. As we are taught to do, she continued to wrestle, knowing that the rabbinate was her true calling. Ultimately, she found her spiritual home at Monmouth Reform Temple in New Jersey. For 25 years, she served her community with dignity, grace, and compassion. Under her wise and intentional leadership, Rabbi Presand helped her congregants embrace Judaism for themselves and find their own voices within our sacred heritage. She infused the worship experience with gradual but significant changes that proved to be well-received. Her compassion for social justice and tikkun olam were important benchmarks, not only for her rabbinate, but for the larger community. 
Rabbi Presand earned her title as Rabbi Emerita and maintained strong relations with her community. Rabbi Presand could enjoy her retirement quietly and peacefully, which she is certainly doing. But she continues to maintain her desire and calling to inspire others to embrace Judaism as their own authentic selves. Rabbi Prezan influences and educates future leaders of our movement of both genders. Through it all, she maintains her strong sense of humility and perspective. The reform movement can take credit for motivating other denominations to affect change in areas associated with inclusion and accessibility. Rabbi Presan's journey to the rabbinate and beyond continues to be an important opening for many whose voices have been silenced. That is Rabbi Presan's continued trademark and legacy. The Reconstructionist, conservative, and open Orthodox denominations have all celebrated female spiritual leaders. It's been a gradual but significant addition to the diverse makeup of the 21st century rabbinate. 50 years later, we continue to celebrate these great strides, especially in the areas of diversity and acceptance. While there is still work to be done, we have been taught that what is history to one generation is commonplace to another. In honor of this milestone anniversary, Rabbi Presan stands firm in her resolve, even as she continues to inspire future innovations across all denominations of Judaism. I share in part a prayer Rabbi Presan wrote for the Women's Rabbinic Network. Each one of us is a piece of a priceless mosaic in the design of the universe. Each one of us has gifts that no one else can bring. Help us, God, to make the most of these gifts and to become all that we are capable of becoming. As we reflect on the varied contributions of so many wonderful leaders, teachers, and rabbis, may we continue to be inspired to bring our best gifts forward as we remain sensitive to the needs of all those in our community. Let us each feel empowered to share our talents our blessings, and our true selves to the sacred, holy, and evolving tradition. As together we all say, Amen. We turn now to pages 282 and 287 as we rise for our adoration, Alenu. Alenu le Shabbat la Don Hakol, la Tate Gdula liot ser brashid, Shelo asanu kigoye harat sot, Velo samanu kemish perhota dama, Shelo sam chalkenu kahem. Vigor alenu kechol hamonam, vanachnu korim, umish tachavim umodim, leafne melech, malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Venemar vayadonai lemelech al kol haaretz bayom hahu bayom hahu ye adonai echad uv shemo uv shemo uv shemo. In our prayer book, we turn to page 294. And as we do, we take this time now to call to heart and mind those dear ones who departed this earth and entered the peace of life eternal. 
And in the Gordon Chapel, it's our custom to invite you, if you wish, to stand at your place as the name of your loved one is called aloud, as well as those who are watching by live stream to do the same. Afterwards, all of us will rise to recite the words of Kaddish, to support each other and to remember those who have been taken from this life. Lovingly, we remember this Shabbat, Bernard Abrams, Hilda Aaron, Harold Berenstein, Carlos Barrios, Betty Bernstein, Marie Berta, Anita Bluestein, Myron Brown, Leah Kassir, Bienvenida Canto, Sid Cohen, James Colton, Leonard Couch, Eva Kramars, Eileen Davis, Sylvan Dubin, Esther Fallick, Jack Fetterman, Jacob Fine, Daniel Forbes, Leonard Gabert, Gabert Justin Gardner, Gilbert Gertner, Richard Golden, Maddie Hammer, Leslie Hamori, Morton Hecht, Juliet Hiller, Hannah Hockman, Jim Huey, Helena Yeager, Harry Case, Maurice Kroll, Rosalie Layden, Clara Lofman, Miriam Leff, Ethel Levin, Ben Levy, Regina Lewin, Mitchell Lewis, George Lieberman, Pauline Loggins, Linda Marks, William Marks, Abigail Newman Salter, Samuel Parker, Marvin Potis, Joe Rosenberg, Anna Schaefer, Rose Schraber, Gertrude Schwartz, Matthew Schwartz, Alan Shapiro, Larry Siegel, Alvin Simon, Marie Simon, Lily Stark, Roddy Tumim, Thomas Tritch, Sadie Wapner, Max Weisbrod, Rebecca Wexler, Daryl Wiesenthal, Joseph Wolf, Alan M. Yaffa. In their memory and honor, we rise now as a congregation to recite the words of Kaddish in their memory and honor. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemei rabah, v'yama divrachir te v'yam lich machu te, v'chai echon v'yamei chon v'chai eid ho beit Yisrael, v'galau v'yizman kari v'imru amen. Yehei shemei rabah mevarach le'alam l'amei amaya, Yit barach vish da bach vid barar vid jamam vid nase vid adar vid ale vid alau shmeir gurishab rihu leilam min kol bir chata veshirata tush bechata venechamata dami ram vi amavim ru amen yehi shlama raba min shemaya vichayim alenu vi alko Yisrael vim ru amen. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya se shalom, aleinu v'alko Yisrael. Amen. May the source of peace send peace to those who mourn, and comfort to all the bereaved among us, as together we say, Amen. Please be seated. We'll turn to page five as we invite Rabbi Scott to lead us in Kiddush to sanctify this Sabbath day. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, Veratzavanu, Vishabad kocho, Veahavahu ratzon in chilanu, Zikaron le maase vereshit, Ki hu yom dehila, Le mi krae kodesh, Zecher le tziat, Mitzrayim. Kivanu v'acharta V'yotanu kidashta V'kohol ha'amim V'shabad kod shecha V'yahava v'ratzon in Chaltanu, Baruch Atah Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Amen. In lieu of 
of formal announcements that we generally give on Shabbat evening. Just a reminder, as the summer has taken hold and we enjoy the summer services throughout the summer, each Saturday morning as well at 8.30 in the morning, in person and live stream is the early morning minion here in the Gordon Chapel, followed by Torah study in the finger boardroom and on live stream uh, by Zoom in, uh, at 9.45 to 10.45 a.m. and all are welcome. Rabbi Scott. Yes, we'll conclude our service tonight by joining together in singing Ose Shalom, another prayer, song, and hope and desire for peace. Should you need the words that can be found on page 62, please rise as we join together in singing. Our God and God of all generations, as we reflect on the accomplishments of the past, God, we pray that you will stand with us as there is so much more we wish to accomplish. Please help strengthen our steps and guide our hands to achieve good health, greater meets vote, and lasting and enduring peace for all. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.